Welcome to episode 11 of live.withcode.uk. I hope you had a really good half term last week um, and well done for everyone who took part in the, um, the micro bit animation activity, particularly to Sam from Fulford School, who's last week's competition winner. Well done, Sam. Thank you to everybody who voted for what to cover this week. We're going to look at lists in Python this week to create a random story chooser. Um, so it will um, use lists to um, define different parts of a story. So we can choose how the story begins. I'm going to leave it blank to choose help um, to choose one at random. Um, or you can specify which item in a list you want the um, story to display. So I'm going to have a character of a dinosaur zero and leave the rest blank. Um, and then it will display your random story. So only a, a brief story. It's not particularly it's not going to be a literary masterpiece, um, but it gets you used to creating lists in Python choosing items from a list we're going to create our own function um, which includes a little bit of validation um, and then something that you could potentially use as a bedtime story for a younger brother or sister or family member so let's get started um, as we do the live coding all together remember you'll see all the mistakes um, but the, uh, that i make but the idea is to let you into the thought processes um, as we build up and design a program together we're going to need just one module today the random module to choose different parts of the story at random and we're going to start by um, discussing the structure of our story. So we're going to say something like, once upon a time, a time um, there was a dinosaur called Bob. Um, they went for a walk and met a spider. Um, the end. So that's kind of the structure of the story that we're going to work with. What we want to do now um, is uh, detect uh, which parts of the story will be different each time. So we're going to have the start of a story, and I'm just going to replace them with these moustache brackets for now. Um, one reason for doing that um, is that we can then use um, string.format. So this text here is a, a string data type. And after any string, you can use a full stop, a dot, and then the format function to throw some data in. So if I pass one parameter of just some random text in there, that's displayed instead of these moustache brackets. So if I put in once upon a time, that's then put into our story. And we can do that multiple times. So once upon a time, there was a, we want different animals in here. So we could put, let's say, a snake. Um, we can pass lots of data into this string here. It's just a little bit easier than the equivalent, which would be to stop the string and then concatenate with another string or a variable or something like that. It's just a neater way of working with lots of string concatenation. So remember, concatenation just means joining, uh, joining text. So I'm going to put these all on a new line um, so that instead of putting the literal string text here, we can have a list of different items and choose them at random. So let's create a list called start and list use square brackets to put multiple values in. So I'm going to say once upon a time is going to be one way to start a story. Um, but we could also have, if you're a Star Wars fan, um, a galaxy far, far away um, or um, in a deep, dark wood, something like that. So at the moment, even though we've defined lots of different ways to start a story, the only one that's going to ever be displayed is the one that we've literally put in here. So we could now say start, which is then going to show all of them, the whole list. We definitely don't want that. Or we could use list indexing. We can use the square brackets again and say the position of the value that we want within the list. So zero means the first item. One means um, the second item. Uh, and two will mean the third item. Interestingly, you can also use negative values. So minus one will mean the last item, but we don't need to worry about that. More usefully for us, we could say random.choice. So we've imported random up here. We can pass random.choice one parameter, um, and then that will choose something at random for us. So we've got a different way to start the story each time. I'm just pressing Control Enter lots of times. OK. So now we want another list for characters. You can put your own characters in here. So we can have a dinosaur. Um, we can have a monkey. Remember, each value needs to be separated with a comma and surrounded with your quotation marks. Uh, we can have a penguin. We can have a worm. 
where you can have a dragon. Um, and then before it will actually choose one at random, remember you need to pass that value as a parameter. So random.choice and then the name of the list, so characters here. Great, so once upon a time there was a dragon, a dinosaur, that's working. All right, so now we need to um, give our character a name. So, oops, we need to set, assign the value of our variable. That's the variable, a list called names, and we need to assign the value of it. So let's have Bob or Andy or Claire. Oops, forgot the quotation marks. We'll get a syntax error if we put those in. Michael, oops, can't spell Michael or Jessica. Um, and then remember, you need to pass that as a new parameter to the string.format function here. So let's have the name uh, of the list as names. Good, get in there. So now we need to say what happens in our story. So they went for a walk or um, anything else. So we can have actions, a new list. You, again, you can put whatever you want into your story. They went for a walk, they uh, went cycling, uh, had a disco. You can put however many you like in here, had a socially distant um, picnic. Um, so we've got the moustache brackets in here, the scope brackets, but we haven't passed the new parameter in. Random.choice, we need the name of the list. The name of the list is actions. Uh, and then we need an ending. Oh no, we don't. We need to say who they met um, and met um, a. Now, in this case, we've already got a list with different animals in here, so I'm going to reuse it. So, just need to pass a new parameter, but we can use the same list we've already created. Um, so, a monkey called Bob, they had a disco, and met a penguin. Good. So it's all random apart from the ending. So let's replace that. Um, now I have to be careful here because this is a new sentence. We'll have to put that in. I have to take that into account in our list here. So end. Well, I suppose it should be endings, shouldn't it? Um, we can have the end. Remember the capital letters. They all lived happily ever after. Um, or you can put your own endings in if you'd like. Uh, so we need to pass that parameter here. Remember to separate all of your parameters with a comma. Oops, can't spell. Random dot choice, and then endings. So this works. We've got a random story generator that uses different lists, but I think it would be more useful if we could choose a specific item if we wanted to. So we're going to make a replacement for random dot choice. So let's define a function and call it choose spell it properly and we're going to take two parameters here um, or two arguments uh, so we need to know which list we're choosing from so I'll say from list um, and I'd also need to know what the list is storing so um, list name so now we can say print please choose an item from and then the list name so let's just try it out for now. I'm going to comment out with a doc string, a triple um, uh, quote thing from a multi line comment. Um, so nothing happens at the moment. I'm just going to test out this function. So choose, we'll choose a start from this list um, and a story beginning. Bad input on line 14. What's wrong with this? Oh, it's because we've got. Um, wrong level of indentation. So please choose an item from story beginning. Uh, so I guess we want to display all of the items in our list. So we could just print from list. Now notice I'm using from list here, not start, because I want to be able to um, pass any list in here rather than just always work with start. So that's displayed all the values, but it'd be nice if it said 0, 1, 2, or 1, 2, 3. Um, so instead of that, we'll, we'll use a, a loop for i in range. Now, i stands for index. It's just a number used to work out where we are in the list. 
um, range. Let's just generate a list of, of numbers. And we want to go up to however long our list is. So len is a function that works out the length of a list. Um, so we want to work out the length of our from list. And for now, we'll just print i. So that's that's OK. It says 0, 1, 2, the 0, 1, 2, the position in the list. It would be nice if we also said um, the item at that position. So from list, square brackets, i. So the first item in the list, index 0, is once upon a time. Um, and then the same for 1 and 2. OK, so we've displayed the values. Now we need to ask the question to the user so they can choose which one. So input asks a question, print just displays. So um, choose uh, an item, um, choose a uh, value, or leave blank to choose one at random. Um, so we ask the question, but we're not listening to the answer yet. We're not doing anything with it. So let's make a new variable called option and assign the value of that new variable to the answer to the question, the return value from the input function. Um, OK, so for now, we can just return option. So uh, please choose a value. I'm going to type something in at random. Whatever you type in gets passed out from this function here. And so we can use it in our program. So now I'm going to uncomment this. Go back here, and instead of random.choice, I'm going to use our new function. And remember, we need to describe what the function, sorry, what the um, list is that we're passing as a parameter, story beginning. Um, so now it will call our choose function. And at the moment, whatever you type in here is going to be passed back from this function into the thing that called it. So into here to display it in the uh, in the story. We don't really want that. It would be nice to be able to say zero um, and it says once upon a time and it doesn't do that yet. It just puts zero into our story. All right, so let's make that work. So we can say, oh, hang on, we need to ask the question before we can use the answer. Um, so here, instead of returning the actual answer to the question, what the user types in, we can try returning from list at that position. So if we type in a zero, it doesn't work because it says the index must be an integer, not a string. What does that mean? Well, we typed in zero, but zero, uh, whatever you type in as an answer to an input, answer to a question is a string, not an integer. Um, and we need to convert it to an integer by using the int function. So let's try again. That works. I chose zero. Zero is once upon a time. It puts that into the story. Let's try it with one. That works. But if we leave it blank, we can't convert an empty string to an integer, so we get a runtime error and it all goes horribly wrong. So what we're going to do now is some validation. We're going to say if um, option dot is numeric. So if it's a number value, then we can return the item at that value. If it's not, then um, we can say uh, so we can say elif elif option is equal to an empty string then we can return one of these values at random so like we did before random.choice random.choice from list um, otherwise so if it's not blank and it's not a number we can just return what the user types in so let's try this now if we put a number in it chooses at that position if we leave it blank it should choose one at random but if we put something else in um, ourselves, like on a distant planet, um, then it uses whatever we type in. So validation means checking that what the user types in is valid. And we always do validation using an if statement selection. So we, we select um, what we're going to do based on the data. Is it valid? Is it not? OK, so now that we've defined our function, we can just use that as many times as we like. So um, I'm going to hold down Alt and drag down to get a cursor in multiple positions at the same time. Control D, delete, control, delete. Um, you don't have to do it all at the same time. You can just copy and paste. It's just a faster way of working. 
Um, we run it at the moment, it works first time, but we're only patting one um, argument, patting one parameter into um, this, uh, this function here. So we need to describe the list that we're having, uh, that we're passing. So this is a list of characters, but so the program needs to say, please choose a character, please choose a character name, please choose what happens, um, please choose another character, so who they meet. Um, and then finally, please choose how the story ends. All right, let's try it. So I'll leave them all blank and see if we get a random story. That seems to work. This time I'm going to specify that it must be once upon a time and the rest can be random. Good, we get once upon a time. And this time I'm going to have a completely silly random uh, way to start the um, story, leave the rest random. And it seems to work. So um, let's put some challenges in that you can work through. Um, you can... Uh, let's see. Um, you can put your own story parts into the list. So add your own beginnings, your own characters in. You can make the characters say something random. So you can make your own list down here called speech and add in um, what they say to each other. And you can make a loop. So you can have a for loop that just repeats all of this, say, 10 times for 10 random chapters. Um, so I hope this has been useful. Thanks for taking part. Remember, you can find all of the links to the activities on live.withcode.uk. You can sign up for the competition if you haven't already done that to get a chance to win a prize for next week. Um, and do vote or suggest what you'd like to be included in next week's episode. All the very best. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.